Hi, I'm Dimitris, and in this presentation, we'll talk about the sum of consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence. In a previous presentation, we already learned two formulas on how to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. The difference in this presentation is that we want to find the sum of n consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence without them being the first n terms. We learn how to do it through the following example. Let the arithmetic sequence un. It is easy for one to understand that this sequence contains the terms u1, u2, u3, and so on. Suppose now that we want to calculate the sum from u11 to u35. In other words, we want to find the sum of u11 plus u12 plus u13 and so on until we get to u35. Remember that we already know the formula on how to calculate the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. So, having that in mind, we are thinking that the S35 actually is the sum of the first 35 terms. In other words, S35 equals to U1 plus U2 plus and so on plus U10 plus U11 plus U12 plus and so on plus U35. At the same time, the S10 is the sum of the first 10 terms. This means that S10 equals to U1 plus U2 plus and so on U10. So, if we want to actually get the sum of U11 to U35, we only have to find the difference between S10 and S35. So, we'll just have to calculate S10, calculate the S35, and then subtract S10 from S35. For any questions about this presentation, you can leave comments down below or you can contact me with one of the following ways, either on my email or in my Facebook page. As always, thank you for your time.